Hi, this is James, and I am excited to let you know that there is a new email tool launching today, 16th September at 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. is when they are running a live demo and webinar. So get in there at 9.30 a.m. on 16th September 2021. Now, the way for you to get in there is by clicking on the link below where you'll be taken to a page where I have a demo of the software as well as a review of the page. Now, you can skip all that as long as you get in there before 9.30 a.m. on 16 September. Click on the button there and you will be right, taken to a page where you register for the webinar. Now, if you are coming in here and watching this after 9.30 a.m. on 16 September, and when you click on that button, you will be taken to the sales page. Now, I must warn you that this demo that I have is a 46-minute demo. Now, if you are impatient, then what I would suggest is fast forward the moment the demo starts and you will hit my review of the sales page and the features and benefits of Firelist. Now, when you click on the link below, you will also discover the bonuses that the vendor has made available for me to offer to you, my followers like you. So let's now head on over to the demo, or if you prefer, fast forward to the sales page review. Hello, everyone. Welcome to demo video of Firelist. So Firelist, as you know, it is a cold mailing platform uh, where you can actually, you know, like use it for managing your email marketing campaigns. This is a complete, fully, uh, you know, like a flagged email marketing uh, suite. It is a complete autoresponder. You can create your list. You can manage your list. You can uh, create segments. You can create tags. Uh, you can actually create workflows. You can execute workflows. You can schedule them. And it is not just an ordinary uh, autoresponder, uh, artificial intelligence based platform which has machine learning involved in it, and it, it has the predictive uh, features. So you can actually generate content using uh, Firelist. You, it will help you to warm up your account. It will help you to run some, you know, like inboxing test. So the most important aspect of email marketing is to get better inboxing, okay? And we have launched MailZap uh, last, uh, you know, like a couple of uh, months back, and Mails app used to be a complete, uh, fully fledged email marketing uh, autoresponder. It had all the features which we need as an autoresponder. But why do we need a new platform which has all the uh, features of autoresponders? Firelist is to warm up your list. Firelist will help you to, you know, like run some SMTP inboxing test. You should know that your emails emails are landing in inbox or they are landing in spam or they are just missing, they're being bounced. They are going to the promotional tabs. So when you, you know, like uh, want to know what is happening, why, why my email campaigns are not, you know, giving me the better results, why my email campaigns are all the efforts which I'm putting in are, are completely going in, in into drain. So Firelist will help you. Firelist will help you in managing your subscribers. It will help you to segment them. It will help you to tag your subscribers. And it will help you to create and send a broadcast. When I'm saying broadcast, I'm talking about bulk emailing. Okay. And Firelist will help you to run some inboxing test like your email is going to spam inbox some promotional tabs or they're just you know like bouncing or missing somewhere okay it will actually not just give you the result it will not just you know like give you the idea whether your emails are going to inbox or not but it will help you to attain that to achieve that it will help you to warm up your email list it will help you to warm up your domain it will help you to warm up your ip because for a for a better inboxing you need to be careful about a couple of things 
are like you should have a better and proper SPF records, DKIM records, DMARC records. And after that, you should have a proper clean domain. You should have a very good clean IP. And your sender reputation should not be bad. So it will actually, first of all, it will just analyze and it will tell you the results. And then once everything is good, it will help you to warm up your email, your IP and your domain. I will explain you, I will show you how it works. But before that, I'm just going to give you some idea how it works, okay? Uh, we have sign up forms here, we have workflow and we have reports. And I will show you one by one everything in the settings, profile, plan information, integrations and all these features. And we have the notification section here. And this notification is actually going to be used like uh, just for like not for just notifications, but for the updates as well. So every update, every notification, every activity log, you can see inside the notification here. OK, so this is the dashboard. You can see we have uh, how many broadcast list subscribers. This is a very identical to the mails app, but it is completely different. OK, uh, it will actually show you your testing results. OK, if you have sent this email, uh, you know, like uh, uh, this is the unboxing rate, this is the spam, this is the total, like it will show you everything here. And it will show you whether your IP or domain is, uh, you know, like blacklisted somewhere, it's clean. It will help you with your sender score. It will show you everything, right? <clears throat> okay, so now you can actually, I'll show you, first of all, uh, this is the setting uh, area. This is very identical, like, uh, you know, to uh, Mills app, uh, but here, uh, you can actually connect your all the SMTP services. So let's say I have just connected my uh, one of my uh, Mailgun account. Account. So you can connect SandGrid, SparkPost, Elastic Mail, Amazon SES, Mailgun, custom SMTP. You can use and file list works with MailZap as well, right? So let me tell you what is happening here. If you want to just connect your Mailgun account, you can just enter this information. And once your account is connected, you can switch to any SMTP. Let's say you have connected your 10 SMTP relays. You can switch to anyone, right? Right now I'm on uh, I'm on other account. If I click on this, I'll I'm on other account now. So I can switch to the to the my different accounts altogether. Okay. Uh, I don't need to verify a domain because we are using some SMTP relays. So you need to do that process there on their websites, but here inside the file list, we don't ask you to verify your domain again, okay? So you can just use a, an account and you can start sending emails instantly, okay? You can actually manage your subscribers, so you can create a list, right? You can you can not just create a list, but you can actually import that as well. Uh, you can you can choose whether you want to just have a copy paste or manually add one by one or you want to import a list. So let's let's import a list. Okay, I'm just going to uh, you know choose a name. This is a name of list. Let's say, and this is a description of the list. Okay, uh, I'm just going to create this list. Okay, now, okay, this is my address. This is the company name and all. Uh, I want to, you know, like uh, enable a dual opt-in. No, I just don't want to, so I can skip it. And then I'll click on approve. And now I will just upload my CSV file. So let's say this is my CSV file, which I want to use here. Okay, or let's say this is the CSV file, which I want to use. I'll just choose that and it will show me you know all the data to connect with the field name so let's say you got uh, 10 columns it will show you 10 columns and it will it will sh ask you to tag that with the particular you know field name so let's say this is the email so you can actually use email 
and click on save and finish and once this whole list will be imported it will show you a message that your list has been imported successfully you can click on back to the contacts and you can see we've got 121 total subscribers we've got 121 active subscribers and how many inactive users we have it will show you the inactive users it will show you the unsubscribed subscribers and the users whose verification is pending so if you are using dual opt-in it will show you that okay now if you want to tag some users you can always uh, you know like tag them like you can always uh, change the status of the users you can always uh, delete them if you want it's up to you but once it is done let's say the, the the list has been created as you can see name of the list it has 121 contacts already okay uh, you can segment them and how how does this segment feature works you can click a new create a new segment you can always choose a list or multiple list you can choose let's say i have selected two lists or i can select a 20 or 200 lists as well uh, now i just want to uh, I, I have to actually provide a name for the segment so my name of the segment is name of list segment one and i'm going to create the segment and now i will have to uh, choose what are the criteria of the segment so let's say my criteria my criteria is going to be email address i will add that and now i have the conditions okay you want to uh, put the condition like equal to something uh, doesn't equal to something or contains some particular string or text or letter or, or character or digit or doesn't contain that it's it should be starts with or end with i always use it for the end with to segregate my list for the different different email service providers like i want to have a just all the users from the gmail or from the from the from the yahoo so i will just enter ends with gmail.com and when i click on save and update it will actually show me okay i've got 50 contacts from this segment so if i'll click on this uh, you know segment i will see every user has a gmail account so that's how i can you know segregate my users that's how i can create a separate segment for for the gmail users now if i want to create a different uh, segment for the users who are who are uh, from hotmail.com so i'll create a new segment let's say i've selected these two lists i i this is list uh, i mean uh, segment number two if I, I, I'll just, uh, okay, choose an email address uh, option here and ends with hotmail.com, okay? Uh, click on save and update. I've got 14 contacts from the Hotmail. If you click on the view segment, you will see every user is from the Hotmail. So that's how you can create a segment, okay? And once this segment has been you know, like uh, it's auto saved when you click on save and update, it generates and it saves the segment automatically. So you don't have to bother about that. If you want to add these users, these 14 users to some tag, okay, I want to tag it. Like uh, th this is the list I want to tag to uh, one of my existing tags, which I don't have, or I can create a new tag. If I click on create a new, new tag, uh, I'll I'll come here and I'll just create a tag with the name of G Hot Mail or Gmail Hot. Okay, Gmail and Hotmail users. I'll just create a tag with the name of Gmail Hot, and once it is done, I will go back to my uh, segments. Sorry, I just closed it yeah now i will click on add to tag and i will choose my gmail hot tag and i'll click on save tags tag i mean these these 14 users are tagged already if i'll go back to my tags i will see i have this tag gmail hot but i've got seven contacts and why it is seven contacts because i've tagged 14 users not the seven why why is it is it showing me the seven users only okay it is showing the seven users because 
it actually removes all the duplicate email addresses automatically okay so now we have seven unique users so it is showing you the seven unique users now if i want to add i mean i want to tag the other <coughs> users from gmail i'll click on the segments and i'll click on my segment one i will just click on add to tag all the gmail users make sure we've got 50 gmail users but i'm sure these 50 also must be duplicate users so no problem we can we have the search option as well so like this dynod user i want to uh, filter here see we've got duplicate users and if i just add these users to the to in this tag and click on this now my tag is done i've got seven users earlier and we've got we've added 20 20 uh sorry in the tags 25 more so we've got 32 users and now these users are unique and these two these users are coming from different lists and different segments okay and that is the power of stacks so you can just you you don't have the only one option you can create list that is for the different <clears throat> aspects you can have uh you know segments of the users and you can create tags and the best part is i mean the best part of a uh, file list is that you can send email not to not to not just to the list list but you can send email to the segments and tags as well so if i'll create a new broadcast with the name of demo broadcast one and i'll just click on create okay here we go okay this is the demo broadcast as you can see there is no tax right now i mean these tax are different than the list tax these are the broadcast tax and these tax are very very important for the artificial intelligence because these tax are can be added manually as well as our ai will generate these tax automatically okay i'll show you how it works so let's say let's uh, i mean ignore this page Let's go back to the next, I mean, uh, uh, go to the next uh, step. Uh, I've got two lists, if you, if you can see here, name of the list and the, you know, like demo. So I'll just choose name of the list. Uh, I'll click on the save. I've got, uh, you know, uh, name from name. By the way, it will choose uh, na your name from the SMTP service, but you can also enter here. Uh, this is the email address you want to use as a reply address. Uh, we have got a b testing for the subject line uh, you've got simple subject line as well um, hey uh, here we go so something like that here we go uh, this is the preview text it is going to be displayed uh, inside your uh, the mobile devices or the ipad or the tablet it as a preview of the email just you know under the subject line so this is a type preview text you can actually uh, change uh, now i'll click on save now uh, let's talk about some kind of content so um, as i always say is let's let's search for uh, james bond okay uh, james bond or anything like that we can search for uh, not not for the james bond but let's say search for uh, shakespeare right William William Shakespeare and we'll talk about uh, his plays and quotes let's say let's take some his biography okay so William who, who was the Shakespeare occupies a position in the this 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 we'll copy this text from here I will just come back to my system and I will paste it here okay or you can write your own text any any you know kind of a initial content you should write about some some topic and once you are done with that topic it will not just generate results for the topic but what will happen it will generate the all tags related to this text so the ai actually is going to generate all the related tags so this content must be related to uh, all these you know keywords national english english poet uh 
you know, uh, all these all these Shakespeare, uh, English, William Shakespeare, actor often called all these keywords, it will show you and it will show you the emotion of the content. So every, uh, I mean, the, 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 the phrase, phrase is like, I mean, uh, not the phrase, but every sentence uh, before the full stop, it will show you the emotion of that sentence. So the, the emotion of this sentence is neutral. Uh, emotion of this sentence is also neutral, but emotion of this sentence is negative. Negative as in that you can, if you want to change, you can change. And the emotion of this sentence is positive. Okay. AI actually is going to show you what is the actual emotion of the, the sentence which you have written. And not, not only it will show you just the sentence, but it will generate some additional content for you for the related content. So it, now you have this option that you want to, you know, uh, go with this content or you want to use the original one. So click on the save result. Okay. And click on open editor. Once it is done, it will actually copy every single line which you have just written there or you can just copy paste the AI generated content here. Now we have, you can see the dark color in the background because it is intelligent enough to understand the color of the system. So it will show and it will create as per the system color. Okay. So if you have, you, if you're using darker theme of Chrome, it will show you email with a darker background. If you're using lighter theme, it will show you the email with a lighter background, not only you, but your users as well. So you can choose here, hey, and if you want to just, you know, like use some kind of tags with the greeting tags, we have the greeting tags here. Hey, let's say email, you can copy it. You can, you know, like use this placeholder, hey, this, or you can choose name because I don't have a name in my list. So I'm using this, or I can just, you know, like if you have a name in your list, you can use name, of course, first name, last name, full name. This is up to you. If you want to use that, it, it, it will show you the all HTML. It will, it will show you all kind of formatting. If you want to add some kind of table, if you want to add some kind of, uh, you know, uh, specific div, it will, it, you can easily do that, easily do that, right? It's up to you. If you want to just add a link, it will, it will just, just create a link. Let's say this is the link file list dot IO. And when you press enter, it will automatically create a link. You don't have to, you know, like a link, link it specifically. But if you want to change it, you can always, you can change it like by just, you know, select it and click on link. Just a moment. Yeah, here we go. Link. And now you can change this link if you want, enter the title. And if you want to open the link to the new window or the existing window, you can choose here. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, now, if you want to send this email, right, this email, uh, as a, you want to test it first, so you can test it. Like, okay, I want to send this email, but before that, I want to test this email, whether it is going to the inbox or not. Okay, so you can you can always test that email. If I'll open my email address, the Gmail. Okay, here we go. You see, this is the email. As you know, like right now, my my the theme of my Gmail is white, so the background of email is white. You can see that it is it is using my address. It is already my unsubscribe uh, you know like button is already there automatically, and this email is coming from the email address which I have used which is support at firelist.io, okay? And this is using my SMTP detail, not the firelist detail. I'm using this email, uh, you know, like address here, but if it is your email address, it will always use your information. Your users will never understand, will never, you know, like know about the source of your software, whether you're using firelist or you are using mails app, okay? So it is very, very highly customizable. You can customize it. Now we are coming to the next part of uh, the uh, system, which is, uh, 
if you want to change something or you want to generate something using AI, we have this option added here. So let's say if you want to generate something related to the Yoda, okay? I mean, this is my favorite character. I'm sorry, there's a, there's a reason. I'm just uh, mentioning Yoda here. So we'll just copy a small, uh, you know, like phrase. And then we'll just enter it here and I'll click on generate result. You see, uh, it has AI has generated all the Star Wars universe, strike, Strikes Back, Empire Strikes, Star Wars, War Universe, Jedi Order, <laughs> all the relevant keywords and tags. And you can see it is showing, okay, this is a negative uh, phrase. Oh, this is a positive phase. It will show you very negative and very, very positive as well. And as you can see, we've just entered a small amount of text here. But as you can see, AI has generated all the text and content related to Yoda, okay? As you can see, we have never mentioned about, uh, you know, uh, in, the new, in the new Star Wars movie, Yoda has a new name, an altered identity, and a much more prominent line for both him and Rey. As you can see here, we have never mentioned about this phrase. Okay, so AI actually is generating content about Yoda and it is giving you as a suggestion and you can use this suggestion in your email. The same thing you can do for your marketing email, for your sales email. And every time when you are creating an email or you are using this content, what is happening? Actually, it is storing everything. You see, earlier it was empty, but now it has tags. So if you want to remove something, you can always remove, okay? If you want to add something, you can always add. But AI actually generates and tags the content for the future better predictions. So whenever you are sending emails, it, it has the machine learning enabled. So it will actually start learning from the way of your writing and the, from the way of you think, okay? So now we are just ready to send our email. I'll click on send now and I will send my email and my email will be sent to everyone whoever is listed in those you know like a list of recipients and once it is done I can see the response of my email here okay so this is the seed list as you can uh, see uh, but the response is very uh, you know like uh, similar you can see here you, you will see the total number of recipients, how many people opened, how many people clicked, how many people unsubscribed. And you can see the list of people who, op who, who opened that email. Not only that, you will be able to tag them. By the way, the AI will automatically tag all the people who opened that email. But if you want to tag that with some other tag, you can do that as well. Okay, so it will, it will give you a very extensive and very elaborative report so you can actually check that report and you can take the action accordingly you can tag the people who opened but did not uh, uh, click on the link or the people who just uh, you know never opened my email so you can always tag them and you can send them a new email right the next thing is workflow a workflow is a very intensive very very important feature of Wirelist. It is already there inside the Mails app, but what is more important than Mails app is I'm just about to come on that. Okay, so we'll talk about the auto like uh, the automation of workflow. So workflow, let's say workflow one. Sorry, as you know, every workflow has a trigger. So what is, what is the trigger for this workflow? You can choose by click. Now we have three options. If somebody joins a list. If somebody unsubscribe a list or like on time, okay, I want to just run this workflow uh, like a one, just eight hours from now, or it should be run in every eight hours. So it's up to you. You can choose which whichever uh, want to want you to uh, I mean want to uh, create. So you can, let's say let's go with a list. Okay, name of the list we have selected. And now you will be able to uh, add 
like all these actions like send mail, remove contact, add to tag, remove from tag, add delay. And we have all these conditions. We have the webhook option here. So now if somebody joins my list after a particular delay, I should receive, he should receive an email. So you can, you can choose, right? Like you can connect it with this and send email. You can connect it with this. So this is the, this is the step. Okay, if somebody, somebody will subscribe, you click on this. After two hours, you know, like of a subscription, huh, user should receive this particular email. So I don't have a draft right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the go back to the, the broadcast and I'm going to create an email as a draft. Either I want I can create a new email or I can clone any existing email. So my email has been cloned and whatever, whatever I'm, I have used in my last email or whatever settings, it will be very, very same and as it is. So I can, I can choose any information, right? I can change any information in the email. Once it is done, I'll click on save. I'll come back and I will Let me just refresh this. <clears throat> Once I'm done, I will choose my list from here, name of the list. I'll click on save. I'll click on add delay once again. I'll send email, done. Okay, so now you can see we have added a delay of two hours and we have connected it with the send email. So what is happening? If somebody will subscribe, you know, this is the email which I've just created as a draft. Okay, now what is happening? If somebody will subscribe to my list, list name is name of list. And after two hours, he will receive this email which I have selected from here. Okay, and if he, you know, uh, he, he, has, he has opened the email or not, if I want to just put the condition on that, what I can do, I can put a condition if email. Okay, what is it? I can connect it with this. Now we are going to the one step ahead and I'm going to put a condition. Okay, what condition? If somebody opened the email within two days or not opened, or if somebody clicked or not clicked. Okay, opened or not opened? Okay, if somebody like not opened my email uh, should be marked as a warm user or if somebody opened a mail should be marked as a uh, I mean if somebody opened the e email should be marked as a warm user if somebody did not open the email should be marked as a cold user so I can mark it as a cold user I can tag it as a warm user so now what is happening we have got the fully ready workflow we have got a workflow where we have automated the whole process okay if somebody will subscribe my list after two hours of like subscribe after subscribing so user should like feel that somebody deliberately like sent a sent an email or somebody actually uh, you know like sent a personal email uh, after because i've subscribed two hours ago and now i'm getting an email now or it can this time can be one day or two days it's up to you okay the delay time is up to you so if you have if if user has subscribed it after two hours he should receive an email and after within two days after two days of course it will check if somebody opened the email or not okay I have sent email let's say hundred users subscribed your list and or like in that in those hundred users only fifty people actually opened the email in the last six days okay. So what does it mean? It means these six people are, I mean, these 50, let's say uh, 20 people did not open, but 80 people opened. So these 20 people are actually cold users because they never opened the email. And these 80 users are the warm users. So now what is happening here? You are tagging the users on the, on, on the behalf of their actions, whether they are opening the email or they are just not opening the email. So if they're opening the email, you can mark them as a, as a warm user if they are not opening, you can warm, mark, tag them as a cold user. So the next time when you will start sending or warming up your 
uh, you know, like uh, account, it will only use the people who are warm. It will never use any cold user. Once it is done, I'll click on run, and now our workflow is created and success running. I mean, running successfully. So this is the this is how workflow works. Okay, I'll just pause it so we won't send any wrong email to anyone because I have selected a wrong template here, as you can see from dummy template. Okay, now we'll come back to the the most important two major parts. I mean, features of this uh, platform. The first feature is SMTP inbox checker. What is it? What? How does it help? So, inbox checker is okay. When I'm sending emails, I get only you know two percent open rate or one percent open rate. But when my friend actually uh, sends an email, he gets 23, 30 percent open rate. What is happening? Where my emails are going? Whenever you send a campaign, you don't know whether your emails are going in inbox or other tabs or spam or they are just bound, just you know, like going somewhere else. They are not even delivering. So you can run a test, and this test we call SMTP inbox checker test. What is it? You can create a test by copying this FLID code. We call it a file list ID. Yet this pixel code is going to be used in your email. Anywhere in your email, you can just paste it as it is. Okay, and you can run this test on not only on Firelist or MailZap, but you can do it in any autoresponder in the world using Firelist. Right? I'll show you how does it work. Now this is the first, uh, let's say, SMTP test one, and I'll click on next. And our next step is to choose, okay, you want to check it with the, uh, like uh, how many email service providers. You want to check a spam filter, you want to check the popular US accounts or European accounts or Brazilian, Russian accounts. You can choose anything, any, uh, or you can remove any. And once it is done, it will, we will give you a seed list. Okay, now you have this option to uh, copy the seed list. You copy this, go back to your autoresponder, send email from, I mean, to these users, but don't forget to enter the file list ID inside the email body, inside the email text. And once it is done, once it is done, in next couple of minutes, it will show you, okay, what is the deliverability? Like, how many percentage of in like inboxing uh, like uh, you getting how many emails sent to the tabs how many emails are going to spam and how many emails are missing it will show you the authentication like what is the server authentication okay this is the email uh, which i mean uh, the id which you are using if your dkim is uh, like pass is if your spf is pass or if you what is the sender score you have this is your sender score. If you if your IP is blacklisted somewhere, it will show you the IP is blacklisted. If you are using any spammy or any fishy content inside your uh, email, it will show you that you are using this. It will show you a separate result for every account. Okay, you are getting uh, like 100% uh, uh, inboxing in Outlook or 100% undelivered in Outlook. It will show you how many emails are going in, in spam on Gmail and how many people like emails are going in like in uh, other other tabs in Gmail or in inbox in Gmail or Hotmail or any other email account. So you can see, okay, this is this is something happening. I'm sending email to 1,000 users, 1,000 subscribers, but I'm getting only 2% inboxing just because my sender authentication is not correct. My sender score is not correct. My IP is blacklisted because my Google actually marked me as a, as a fishy or spammy. It will not just show you the response. It will analyze your content. Okay, what is the size of your email? What are, what are, what is the size of the images you are, you are having in your email? What is the HTML code looks like? If HTML code is broken, it will show you it is broken. If you have any broken link, if you have any broken image, it will show you that links and images are broken. 
if you are using any spam spammy content it will show you that you are using a spammy keyword in your email okay not only this but it will show you the action steps okay you should take these actions these steps will actually help you to Im improve your inboxing okay once you are done with the result it will it will keep changing for within within two hours because uh, you know like it is it is sending emails and it is checking it take this whole process takes time so you can you can just you know like run a campaign and you can forget it for an hour after an hour you will come and you will see the response it may, i mean i'm saying an hour just because sometimes when we are running a lot of campaigns it it can take some time but whenever we are testing it takes just few minutes like two or three but in two three minutes it will give you the better understanding of your email campaigning okay and now the next thing is once you are done with the smtp testing now your still your emails your everything is correct your ip is not blacklisted your domain is not blacklisted your uh, system is completely correct you are not using any fishy or spammy keyword uh, your your content is clean but still you are not getting better in boxing now what to do so we have a a very solid ai based warm up campaign what you can do this campaign is a very unique feature of firelist because you cannot find this feature anywhere on the planet so what happened why and how gmail actually knows about you should be important for a person or not or your email should be important for a person or not it actually gets the information on your be on, on the behalf of your uh, you know like uh, uh, email marketing or on your behavior and then actually it gives you a score like if you are sending email and your emails are not just going to the spam or your emails are not uh, uh, getting complaints or your emails email doesn't have a, a spammy keyword it will actually give you a good rate and it will initially it will actually land it in some kind of inbox or promotion or updates tag tab but if your email are getting like a lot of uh, 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 spam complaints or if your email are bouncing or if your email ip's reputation is poor or domain reputation is poor it will mark you as a spam as a spammer so to you know or if you are you are not you are a new marketer and suddenly lot of lot of traction has started coming i mean using your email address so what will happen your email reputation the sender reputation will go down and gmail will start sending your emails to the spam but by using smart ai based campaign what will happen we have created a network of bots and these bots are actually works like a real human they use a real human browser they use the real uh, you know web browser and they they use the email like a real person and how does it work whenever you are creating a campaign like uh, like warm up campaign 1 it will you can choose which uh, account you want to go with so this is the smtp account you want to go now come to the next option and here you can choose the email category and in the email category you can write your own but it will suggest you every time it will give you a new email so you can you can rewrite or you can choose this click on next you can always select okay i want to just uh, do it for the uh, gmail not for others so you can unselect all but click on next once you are done it will actually ask you for the replies and what is reply means replies actually are because it is creating a kind of experience for the email service providers okay you are sending a, 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 like an email to the uh, 100 people or 200 people and those 200 people are going to reply on your email so you will get a better engagement initially and when this engagement is happening you will get automatically your rank will be increased and once your rank is increased your inboxing will be better no matter what email marketing platform you are using what autoresponder you are using but 
fire list actually does that for all the autoresponders on this planet, including MailZap, including Aweber, including uh, all the, you know, like all major or, you know, like new or any autoresponder because that is not a specific, specifically based on a system. That is, that is free because that is based on the email nexus, email addresses, a cluster, a cluster of email addresses which we have just created. So now you can choose the replies. Okay, I, I should get, uh, I should get uh, this reply from my user. I mean, from the, from those uh, bots. So you can choose a reply here. So Gmail should feel that, okay, a real communication is happening. Whatever you are writing, every time you will get a newer reply because AI is doing its job in the background. In the background. And once it is done, see, it is saved. You can schedule it. Okay, I want to do this process every day or I want to do this process weekly. Every day for maximum, you should do it for maximum five days. One campaign, not more than that. That is not recommended but it is up to you. You can keep running that. Click on next and we are done. Okay. Once it is done, we'll be able to see the response every time and it will actually increase your inboxing automatically. And we have a sign up form next. You can always use a sign up form like mails app, right? This is a sign up form one. You can choose a list. You can create a sign up form and you will be able to create the sign-up form. Uh, this is a feature of Mails app, which we have integrated in the fire list. So it works like a very similar like Mails app. So you can create it here and you can, you can embed that code on your website. Okay. Uh, we, this is not just, a, just an ordinary autoresponder. This is a AI based awesome, just not a, like a, a, a email sender, but it will help you to manage your email marketing and it will help you to uh, give you the real analytics and it will help you to, in, to, to get your better sender reputation for Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail and other email service providers. I hope you like this uh, system and uh, this is, you know, like, uh, like, like MailZap. MailZap is not available to anyone. It is now subscriber, uh, I mean, subscription model. Uh, and it is going, this file list is also going to be on the same uh, subscription model after the launch. So if you like this, click the buy now button and get this. Thank you. All right, guys, this is the review of the sales page of file list. And if you have skipped the demo and you have landed here, then this would give you a quick overview of what you have probably missed in the demo. So FireList is a software suite which is meant for cold emails. So if you have a list and if you want to warm them up, then FireList will help you do that effectively because you know that if you have an email that you have never emailed before, there is a high likelihood if you use an autoresponder or even a normal email client that it will end up in the junk folder. So file list is a technology that will help you make sure that your emails land in your recipient's inbox, warm up the lead and therefore help you close more deals. That in a gist is what file list is all about. And it does all of these automatically. So it is now during this launch period at a one-time fee, which I shall be going through with you in a moment. And you save a ton of manual work when you put FireList to work for you because you don't have to do repetitive emails that are done for you sequences. You don't need to get admin assistance. You can also sell it as a service. And there is a drag and drop system in place, which means you don't need any tech skills or even coding. Now there is a 14 day guarantee, people. So if you do pick this up, make sure 
you put it to use, take it for a spin immediately. Do not wait because the money back guarantee is only valid for 14 days after you purchase. So keep that in mind. So here is something else that I picked up as one of the features of FileList. Besides warming up your cold email list or getting the email to land in your recipient's inbox, I find this pretty interesting that you can revive your email lists that have become unresponsive. So put it to use, warm them up again using FileList and get going. Get the life into your email list once again. So if you are looking for a too lazy, didn't read take on what FileList is, here is what it does in four simple steps. Step number one, you connect. You set up your campaigns. Step number two, you schedule everything up. Step number four, you engage. And finally, step number four, just track everything and tweak as you need to. So FileList is perfect for if you are an online marketer with a cold email list, if you are a solopreneur or an entrepreneur, if you're a small business owner trying to reach out to your customers, if you're a blogger, if you're a local business, an influencer, website owner, affiliate marketer, e-com store owner, author or publisher, or even a social media marketer. Now, during this launch period, you're going to be getting a commercial license as well. So if you wish to, you can integrate FileList with G Suite, Custom SMTPs, Mailgun, Outlook, SendGrid, Zoho Mail, and others as well. Okay, guys, these are the bonuses that uh, come your way when you pick up FileList during this launch period. Special bonus number one is Convert Me to App. Special bonus number two is Proxy My Mail. Special bonus number three is Zap Desk. And special bonus number four is Smart Newsletter Builder. Now, remember, you also get other bonuses as you would have seen in the link below this video. Now, the 100% money back guarantee, once again, I would like to remind you that it is only for 14 days. So make sure you take this for a test drive within 40 days and decide if you want to keep it. So, guys, here is the launch special. And the launch special is that the front end and the OTOs are being bundled for $297. So what does the bundle deal include? It includes the front end gold version. There is a gold and a silver version. So this is the gold version. It includes the OTO1, which is the pro level. It includes the unlimited, which is OTO2, and the reseller license up to 50 licenses. So all that is bundled for $297. So decide if this is for you and grab the bundle deal instead of going through the process of the front end or as well as the OTOs. Or maybe you just want the OTOs, which I shall be revealing to you in a moment as well. So here's the comparison of the versions, the silver, gold, and the bundle, which is the best deal that you can pick up. So guys, I'm not going to be reading or going through this list. I'm just going to scroll slowly so that you can freeze this and read it as you wish and decide which one is most suited for you. And here's the pricing, guys, for the silver version 47, for the gold 67. And of course, as we saw earlier, that for the bundle is 297. So now I'm just going to jump over and show you what the OTOs are. So guys, I'm just going to focus on the OTOs now. I'm not going to go through the silver or gold version of the front end, because you would have seen it earlier. So the OTO one, known as FileList Premium, or previously mentioned as Pro as well, 
There are two versions going for either 67 or 97, one time fee. OTO2 is the file list unlimited going for a one time fee of 147. OTO3 is the file list reseller going for 197 to 140 uh, to 497, sorry. OTO4 is the file list exclusive email marketing train going for $247. Subscribe, click the bell icon, select all notifications so that all future videos like these that I create that will help boost your business, you will receive them.